All right, so in this chapter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at what LifeRay is and sort of get started with LifeRay. So we're gonna set LifeRay up and talk about the LifeRay user, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what LifeRay is, okay? So LifeRay is an open source digital experience platform. I'm sure you all know what that means as soon as I say it, okay? For those of you who don't, uh, sorry. Uh, what it essentially means is it is a platform where we can use digital tools, so things like uh, digital assets, setting up sites, et cetera, et cetera, to uh, provide the best online or digital experience for our users. That's, that's sort of the intention of that term, the digital experience platform, okay? Now, uh, we can do this in a number of ways with a number of different applications and widgets, et cetera to uh, essentially accomplish providing that experience uh, for different use cases. So that, so that could be building websites, that could be building intranets, extranets, uh, public sites, uh, customer portals, whatever you can think of, okay? We have the tools to be able to accomplish those goals with the platform. Uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, creating sites, managing users, okay? Controlling access to those sites for those users, okay? And then of course, the actual site content being presented as well. And uh, we'll take a little bit of a look at customizing your own uh, platform for your own brand identity itself, okay? Now, a lot of these uh, different use cases are fleshed out in more detail uh, with our other courses here, such as content management, front-end developer, back-end developer, et cetera. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is look at a high level of how these different building blocks can help accomplish these goals for us. All right, now the Liferay application itself, so the platform itself, uh, is comprised of a number of application suites. And these application suites contain a number of applications and widgets that we can use to accomplish some of these goals. Okay, so for example, there is the foundation suite. This is gonna contain uh, LifeRay's core applications and widgets, okay? Um, a lot of these applications can be found in the different menus to help us perform some of those administrative tasks that we'll need to for the platform, okay? Additionally, we have things like the collaboration suite, forms and workflow, uh, Elasticsearch, as well as the web experience suite. And these give us not only uh, features that we can work with, but actual widgets that we can uh, configure and display when we're presenting content on our different sites. All right, now uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the menus here. We're gonna look at those in more detail when we actually set up Liferay. And the reason for that is just so you can see it in context. Um, you can see exactly what I'm talking about when we have Liferay started up for the first time, okay? Now when LifeRay is started up, navigation to the tools and administrative menus are handled through what's called the control menu, okay? The control menu has the access to the product menu, which I'll talk about here soon, as well as some of the other administrative tools uh, that we can use when we're working on a site. So if I wanna add a widget to the page or content to the page, uh, I have the add menu, which is gonna be found on the right side of the control menu. Okay. We also have things like the configure page, so you can configure aspects of the page you're on, or look at that simulation menu. Okay. So again, we'll look at that in a little bit more detail when we start up Liferay for the first time. The product menu, on the other hand, is going to be the menu that we have to the left, and this is going to contain uh, our administrative panels. Okay. So things like the control panel. Uh, the user panel and the site administration panel. Those are gonna be sort of the main three that we're looking at. The control panel is gonna contain our administrative tools, okay? So where uh, we want to go ahead and add users or manage users, we wanna configure the platform, et cetera. The user panel is gonna be specifically for uh, user account information. And the site administration panel is going to be uh, specifically for managing either assets for the site or some of the site configuration itself. We have some new features with Liferay as well, specifically in 7.1 that are worth highlighting here, taking a look at as well. Okay, Some of you may be coming from older versions of Liferay, perhaps 6.2, 7.0. All right, in 7.1, we have some new specific content features. That's mainly what we're going to be talking about here. We have page fragments as well as the content and display pages. Now at a high level, page fragments just give us another option for content presentation. We can control the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript structure of a specific fragment of the page. And our content display pages will allow us to take those fragments 
and get them on display in a special way. Now these give our marketing teams a bit more control when it comes to um, actually determining what text, what copy is displayed on those individual fragments. All right, so those will be something that we will look at briefly in this course and they are discussed in more detail in both the content management and the front end developer courses. The previous ways of controlling navigation was of course to just create pages and they would show up in your nav menu and you can control the navigation widget if you needed to. Okay. Uh, in 7.1, you have the ability to create pages and create different navigations as uh, your situation may require. Okay, so that is a new feature that we'll see here in the site administration panel as well. All right, for more in-depth uh, detail on some of these specific features, uh, if you're developers, if you're looking for API or developer documentation, uh, we have our dev.liferay.com. That's going to be our documentation where you can find information on these different tools and features. Okay, so I'd encourage you to take a look at the documentation if you're interested in any uh, of the different features that you may see in these courses or features that we don't touch upon in these courses. All right, so let's just do a quick recap of uh, what we talked about in this section here. Okay, so number one, Liferay is an open source digital experience platform. Okay, again, that just means we have a platform with a number of digital tools that we can use to give your user the best digital experience possible. Okay. Uh, we also talked about some of the menus that we'll be working with as we go throughout this course and some of the other courses as well. We have the control menu, which is going to be at the top of the page for all logged in users. And of course, the access uh, that they have to the control menu will be determined by uh, permissions, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Okay, But these contain things like the add menu, the simulation tool, as well as the product menu, which includes some of our panels that we'll be working with as well. So things like the control panel, the user panel, and the site administration panel. Okay. All right, so in the next part here, what we're gonna do is we are going to get Liferay started up together. We're gonna start an instance of Liferay, and we're going to take a look at some of these menus in context, and this will give us a workspace for the hands-on exercises in the rest of the videos for this course. All right, so let's get started.